Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas everybody, it's me Aja Zekolov and welcome back to another episode of Season 1 of the Modded Survival. I hope you guys are enjoying the very Merry Christmas. Anyway, back to Past Adrian with this episode of Season 1 of the Modded Survival. Hello everyone, it's me Adrian Zekolov and welcome back to Minecraft, the Modded Series. It feels weird being back here. Since I've been um, playing around with the 1.6.4 mod pack I have going on, but hey, we'll I mean, we'll get to that soon. Don't worry, guys. But yeah, we're still in this version 1.5, and we're gonna continue on our adventure. Now I'm not sure where to go. I don't know why I looked at my inventory. I was gonna reach for a map, but I don't have a map. I have to just use this map. <laughs> but yeah. I get, today we're going to be exploring some of the world, we'll see if we can run into any like mutant skeletons, run into a village, hopefully we get all that stuff. Looks like there's a plains this direction, so let's go over there and see if we can find a village. Because I want to find the village tavern mod, and then we can just go, then all we need to do is look for a mutant skeleton and then we're gone. We just need to find the end then, and, and then we've got, and then this, this series is done. There isn't much more else to do, I mean I guess we could kill the weather. But in terms of modded stuff, there isn't actually a lot left to do. <laughs> the main focus of this series was kind of just Twilight Forest and the Kingdom of Alamar, and the Kingdom of Alamar was pretty small, and Twilight Forest, we've managed to get done pretty early, so... Well, pretty early, yeah, is an underestimate. We got it done in a couple of episodes. So, you know... I wouldn't say the series is bad, life. I've had my fun. I accidentally zoomed in my minimap. I don't see any village yet, but that doesn't mean there isn't any. We could also look around for structures, I guess. Like, any structures we may have missed, but... Um... I... It, 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 it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> there isn't a lot of structures that this... That I... That really changed too much. Ow. Like when I was going for the structure mods with this mod series, it was mainly just dungeon pack. We were going to have the room mods, but the room mod didn't work, so we just got dungeon pack really. And there isn't any other dungeons to really take a look at, unfortunately. So there isn't. A, so when so there there, there while well, there are other dungeons to go to, it's mostly like kind of just repeats of places we may have been already. Unfortunately, so there isn't anything new for us. Yeah, we're in the desert now. Yeah, we're really far away from, like, home. You know, but yeah, I do have some a lot of mods returning in this um, mod pack that we used here. We have Flirt Forest, for example. We have Inferno mods, <laughs> just to torture myself some more. We have this mod, the, the Minimap mod, still. We also have power packs as you as normal. The mod a mod I couldn't get to work low was mute creatures. For some reason, it didn't want to work. Now it seems apparently it's a texture problem from what I can figure out. But so I'm, I guess I just can't use it for now. If anyone knows a way to work around that, then feel free to say. But otherwise, we're gonna, we're kind of out. These trees look very nice. They look all yellow. It's like it's autumn. <laughs> Okay, I think I see a structure over here. Looks like night is upon us. But don't worry, I am prepared. Oh, I hope so anyway. Wait, what's that down there? Oh, it's a pig. <laughs> You're hiding in the shadows. I will have to say, I've... I did... Why is there a torch here? It's like just a random torch in the middle of nowhere. It's here, Brian. <laughs> it must be here, Brian. <laughs> it is to be him, right? Oh, for God's sake, why does why everything always drop maybe what drop my weapons? It's a good thing I got spare weapons. Let's see this. Not enough use really. I guess I'll take these just because I have all this stuff. Yeah, I moved some things around my bag so I can have more space. 
And I got a fresh bag. We've got so many items in this series, it's pretty good. If there was like a score system for like having items, I would like beat it out like it was my own business. Ah! Ah, it stings. Another mod we don't have is Kingdom of Armor, but that's because it's not in the version I'm using. It's not in 1.6.4. It's only available in this version, weirdly enough. Ooh, diamond bit legs and a bow. Okay, let's take these saddles. If this was the challenge games, I would have so many emeralds. Yeah, I do. I have enjoyed this series. It's been it's been a good it's been a blast, honestly. I'm sure the next series will be pretty good as well. And I'm sure it will, as we go on we'll get even better series. It will be so good you guys will be you know, I'll make Bob Ross proud. <laughs> or whatever, anyway. Let's see if we can see a mutant skeleton. That's all we need to look for now. We need to look for a mutant skeleton. I mean, if we can't find one, we could always try and spawn one in. There are other ways around this. Did that, did that enemy just take that, like... He just took, like, that cactus. You know, my, my hammer's seen better days. Down to half durability. It's lasted me quite a while. It's a pretty good weapon. It does 13 to 15 damage. That's why I've been using it so much. It's because it's just so good. And the next series, I actually, I've already um, apparently have a mod that actually has a similar weapon. Apparently, there's a there's a Paper Mario mod that actually adds in hammers, and these hammers are like really strong. They're not weak by any means. They do like 18 damage. It's so good. 18, 1 8. But still, that's. <laughs> that's pretty good for a stand in Minecraft. I don't see any villages, unfortunately. Yeah, I do see a mutant zombie life. Oh, hi. How are you doing? Ah! Ow! Dude! He summoned his minions to, to, to aid him. Summoning minions. Ah. <laughs> I'm getting pretty lucky that he's landing into this. Yeah, honestly, the mutant zombie might be probably one of the strongest, just because he's, just because he can like, just because he can do like full damage. Like, ah, I just, I got destroyed. <laughs> it's probably like the strongest normal one. But they're all actually pretty strong, honestly. But if you're not too careful, they all can definitely destroy you if you're not too careful. Like the mutant creeper has their really powerful explosions, which if you're not too careful can definitely kill you. And, um, oh of course, give me the weapon effect. And you stole my weapons. <laughs> okay, this is a mod I'm gonna miss. The decapitation mod. That doesn't seem to work with 1.6.4. Oh well, 
you know, you win some, you lose some. Not all mods can make it, I imagine. I already had to remove a few mods just because they wouldn't work. Or because they caused errors. Like the Gravity Gun mod. Unfortunately, even though that's in 1.6.4, the version I'm using just doesn't work for whatever reason. I'll try it, I'll try it again later. Later on, later down the line, so I'm testing out other mods, but for now I'm I've kind of just disabled it. Okay, I need to think now. Think! <laughs> think, Adrian, think! <laughs> We, we got destroyed by a mutant zombie. <laughs> now what? Um, I guess we we'll go this way. Yeah, we've got some squids over here. We've got some weird like spawn in here. Like these trees are all weird, messed up. Oh, this is another mod I have <laughs> returning. <laughs> this maze mod. At least I think it's in, I can't remember. I'll have to double check. It might have been one of the mods I had to take out because it didn't want to work. A few of the mods are weird like that. I don't know why, but whatever. It is what it is. A very in it, this mod is kind of very interesting. It kind of reminds me of Twilight Forests because of how there were mazes everywhere. <laughs> Ow! I got shot up the butt, and I'm to blame. But yeah, you got these really big mazes, and uh, by the way, I've looked at, I, I actually have looked at a 3D map of these, like how they actually spawn, and yeah, indeed, that, that extra room I found in the last episode is indeed a secret room. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm sure I'll, I'll be used to have found it, I just, I just have never seen them find it, so I'm, I guess that's kind of, I'm just a bit more lucky in, in that I actually kind of found mine. What is over here? Is this the stream hills? Like, what biome is this? Yeah, extreme hills. Yeah, we're at the extreme hills. Ah! You're dead. What? He teleported behind me. So this is the edge of the extreme hills, and then this is the actual extreme hills. <laughs> yeah, I have a lot of this wall. There's actually a lot here. I won't be surprised if we found the um, end portal in this world. We spawned pretty close to the ocean, but there's actually a lot inland over here. Okay, what was that? So let's keep going this way. These are really big biomes, I don't know why. I didn't set it to large biomes, mind you. I just set it to default. These are just some big biomes. <laughs> Maybe they're always this big, I don't know. I'm so used to the Xbox 360 version where the biomes are. You know, they kind of they're, they're fairly small. You can get big biomes, yes, but like <laughs> it's not really the case. <laughs> oh, that does make me think about the farm world again. Because with the original farm world, there was actually a massive desert, and there still is. There's a massive desert between like um, my farm world and the and the outer areas, and the uh, uh, there's uh, this weird desert that used to be a desert. And basically, um, and, and basically, that um, desert became like a snow biome, so it's just now snowing there constantly, even though it's just, even though it's supposed to be a desert. I can say a similar thing for like, um, there's also another biome, like, where my, like, near my farm world, which, it, which used to be a forest, and it's now like a desert, so all the trees that and everything were there have become desert themed, so it's like a savanna kind of. <laughs> I don't want to go to this biome. Although I'm kind of afraid to use the magic carpet, because last time I used it, it struck me with lightning. And it scared the crap out of me. Remember that, guys? Remember that? Okay. You'll remember. I, I, I did it wrong. I'm not sure that was me, though, who did that. Get me off! Oh, that's right, I, I remember now. You have to actually look behind the thing when you're just not the Okay. We found blazes. Yeah, just make sure we're ready. 
Does it remind me of the... Of my Skyblock series where I had that blaze spawner. Okay, what's over here? Nothing else. It really is useless to me. What is this, a blaze vibe? Yeah, get out of there. There we have book. This is a good place to get these rods, please. Ah, okay. Get them out of my face. They're like everywhere. They're all over my body. I think I have fire resistance, so I don't get set on fire that long, but I could be wrong. Let's see, actually. Yeah, we have fire protection. <laughs> Always good to have fire protection, guys. We've got lots of books. If you wanted to make your own, like, library, which I never did, by the way, you can come here and get some books. Okay, why are there, like, animals up here? Are the blazes holding them hostage or something? Oh, come right down. Ah! It's a good thing that's water down there. <laughs> I was trying to, like, rocket down and jump my way out. You guys may know what I'm talking about, you, you, you may not. Who knows? Oops. <laughs> it sounds weird when I use the phone, it's like... <laughs> yeah, you stay away from me, squid. I'll, I'll blow you away. Oops. <laughs> oh, you can do that? Okay. I'll just get my way through the water. <laughs> I didn't know you could, like, glide across the water like that. Yeah, I know you had to be careful with it, otherwise that happens, but... Other than that, I don't remember. I don't remember. Okay, this is a big forest mine. What is that? Oh! Camp! So this is what I was talking about when I was talking about like, the cabin mod. You have these people. Okay, two emeralds. I don't think I bought my emeralds with me, unfortunately, but... Yeah, this is the kind of people you meet out here. And basically, they're, these are like campers. And they spawn randomly throughout your world. And they all... They... You know, they're just like way out here. In the middle of nowhere. Looks like, there's a, looks like there's a few of them around there. And yeah, they offer different things like guides and stuff. Just so I guess if you lose them, it's like a cell fire. So okay, yeah, I got this. I'm not gonna die. It's actually like it's like what's over there? I can see like uh, something wood related. There's actually a bunch of, of these. Hello. Tent bags. What do you want? Do you want cooked marshmallows? Yeah, they have their own unique traits. So if you if you happen to have this stuff and you are surrounded by these guys, you can come here and like trade them some things. So you don't actually have to craft anything in the mod, you can just trade if you really wanted to, I guess, but you know. I'm sure I mean I guess you'll have to craft to make the stuff they want, but like. <laughs> no, it's like normal traders. Yeah, there is something over here. There's like a house of some sort. I think this might be a part of that, uh, of the, um, of the dungeon pack mod. Okay, it's daytime, so these guys won't spawn. Anything in here? No. Well, up here, the chest up here. We have iron, a bow of infinity, that's actually pretty good. <laughs> I was pretty lucky with getting a bow of infinity pretty much at the start of the series. But yeah, if you really wanted to, like, look for villages, this is another method to look for. This is not what I'm looking for, I'm looking for the village tavern mod. 
just keep on looking. Looks like there's a desert over here. We're like far, far away from home. I'm gonna cough. Another mod that I didn't get to work, unfortunately, was a Deckercraft mod, but you know, we have other furniture mods, so I'm sure it'll be fine. Besides, there's a lot of, besides, a lot of these mods have blocks in them. I noticed when I was, uh, but, <laughs> and I'm not, I'm like doing this right in context. <laughs> I'm, talking, I'm referring to the new series I found. Basically, I did have, um, what the hell was going on down there? It's like a mine shaft. Okay, this might be worth checking out sometime. Let's set this thing. Wait, to keep that in mind, just in case we're out here. It might be a way to uh, stronghold. You never know. If it is, that actually might be a quick way of getting in one. Because sometimes they connect. Apparently, on rare occasion, they can spawn. You can sometimes get an entrance to the stronghold on the over, on above ground. Apparently, <laughs> I've never seen it happen myself. But hey, I'm, who, who, it's the first time for everything, right? But yeah, I, I do want it. Uh, but anyway, I have such a big variety of blocks in the new in this series that I think we'll be able to decorate regardless. Can, I'm sure we'll come up with something inventive. Another mod we didn't get working was an elevator mod. I swear I tried two different mods and none of them worked. Which is unfortunate, but you know, you get what you get. You are what you are. Okay, ooh, there's something up here. Hello? Ah! I don't know what that was, but okay. Hmm. Oh, that reminds me of that um, other mod I had planned. That's in this series. I wonder if we can find the boss, actually, because we're in a jungle. I don't know if they spawn here, but... I did, it's a theory. Game theory. <laughs> we're on YouTube, you have to say that. It's against the law not to say it. I think there's um, one of those villages up here. The dungeon pack mod adds these special structures that can spawn in the sky, and they're basically just villages. I'll show you guys a bit closer when, when we get up there. I'm getting destroyed by a skeleton here. Come on, me, skeleton. Beast mode. Where did my magic carpet go? My magic carpet. I don't even. Do I even English, right? But yeah, I don't know how to get this boss to spawn in. I'm sure we'll find it sooner, yeah? Okay, it looks like I can't place it down right now. Um, I don't think we have any other ways of getting up there. There's like a creeper here. Hello, how's it going? Car insurance. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, is let's climb one of these trees and see if we can get closer to it. I kind of want to explore it just for... Just to say I've done it. I mean, I could look around this night for like skeletons, but like, I don't think it really matters. We'll get to that eventually. We'll get to the mutant skeletons eventually. So what's the tallest tree? I think this one is. I'm gonna climb this. Yeah, it looks like it's above us. Through the clouds and far away to tele puppies. Come and play, right? What's your LFC in up here? What did I get shot off by like a skeleton? But yeah, here we can find villagers like up here in the skies. I mean, nothing of use. Do you have anything? No. I don't think the villagers have anything themselves to give me, but you never know, they might have something of use. They're awfully quiet. Okay, iron, I guess. We'll take all this. Finds the village. First thing I do, raid the, raid the town. <laughs> Steal their stuff. You don't have anything of use? I think there might be treasures on top, but... Oh, no, I don't remember. This is 
just made up for Enderstone. This is one of the few places you can get Enderstone from. Ooh, I have the end. <laughs> I have the end. I have end that. And that's the end of this part. I hope you guys enjoyed. The next part will be up shortly. Until then.